That yeah. <laughs> is a cardiovascular <laughs> disaster <laughs> right there. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unhealthiest food in America. No, it's unhealthy. I just cute. like it. I don't like water. For this list, we'll be looking at popular American foods and drinks that are chock full of enough sodium, sugar, and preservatives to choke a horse. And that's why we love them so much. Did we scarf down any other unhealthy foods instead of adding them to the list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Pop-Tarts Pop-Tarts are a popular, quick option for a breakfast on the go. You can eat them straight out of the package or pop them in the toaster for a hit of ooey gooey sugary goodness. Mmm, Pop-Tarts toaster pastries. Saving that other one for later? No, just pre-gaming. Nice. But Pop-Tarts are as unhealthy as they are deliciously convenient. They are full of processed soybean oil and flour. Every package of Pop-Tarts contains 76 grams of carbs, and not the good kind. I know the answer. It doesn't even melt a little bit. It gets harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting, but it's, it's perfect. <laughs> they use multiple types of sugar. Every bite is packed with white sugar, regular corn syrup, and high fructose corn syrup. The large serving of fructose makes long-term and frequent consumption of this tasty treat a health risk. I think, is this one of the ones that has the stripes? Yeah, when oh, you break it open, it has yeah. the stripes of like the chocolate ganache and then the marshmallow cream. This is fancy. I'm I do not sure. like this one. There's just too much going on. High fructose diets have been linked to increased risk of diabetes and heart disease. Number nine, cheese fries. Cheese fries are arguably one of the most delicious dishes of the USA and Canada. Holy. From poutine to chili cheese fries, the iterations of this dish are endless and always tasty. Unfortunately, it should come as no surprise that cheese fries are incredibly bad for you. It's a dish that combines two inherently unhealthy foods. A standard portion of fries is over 400 calories and dishes out a large dose of sodium and fat. Adding a decent dollop of melted cheese and condiments sends the calorie count to upwards of 1,000 calories. When you load them with additional items like meats, cheeses, and gravies, you're looking at an entire day's worth of fat-heavy calories or more. So at a moment like this, the thing to do is just stand back and look and appreciate. Number eight, movie theater pretzels. Pretzels may seem like a healthy snack choice at a movie theater compared to candy, butter popcorn, or cheesy nachos. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. But don't be fooled, some movie theater pretzels clock in at almost 2,000 calories when you include dips and condiments. The pretzels are often a huge source of processed flour, fat, and sodium without much nutritional bang for the calorie buck. It's like those Auntie Anne pretzels, but in giant bread form. Soft in the middle. I do wish it was more flavored, but that's why you have this sauce. Mm. When you make full use of the cheese dip or mustard that comes with it, you may be looking at four daily doses worth of salt. If you take a soda to wash it down, that's even more sodium. Better be damn good. Number seven, baking with bleached white flour. Bleached white flour is a staple of baking in the United States and uncommon almost everywhere else. It's hard to think of an ingredient more important in the kitchen than flour. Without flour, there's no fried chicken, there's no Thanksgiving gravy, and there's no birthday cake. Countries like Australia and those in the EU have banned bleached white flour. Why? Bleached flour contains chemicals like azodicarbamonide, or ADA. ADA is an additive that helps make dough fluffier and more elastic. Just prior to packaging, the mill enriches its white flour with vitamins and minerals. This replaces the vitamins and minerals lost when the milling process removed the bran and germ. Unfortunately, there have been studies that show that ADA and other similar bleached flour additives chemically break down under the high heat of baking. It turns into urethane, which is a carcinogen. Who knew that a loaf of bread could help give you cancer? So here are our loaves. They're well colored. They rose well in the oven. Number six, hot dogs. Processed meats in general are some of the least healthy protein options available at the grocery store. And spoiler alert, a lot of these uh, deli meats on the wall behind me are super bad, low quality proteins pumped with sugar, salt, and preservatives. They contain excessive amounts of salt, phosphates, and nitrites. When it comes to processed meats, few are as generally unhealthy as the all-American hot dog. Now, on a good day in the summer, yes, how sir. many hot dogs do you think you guys are selling? 
We sell anywhere between 4,000 to 10,000 hot dogs. In one day? In one day. <laughs> Wow. They have more sodium than your sliced turkey breast and contain large amounts of nitrites, which have been linked to cancer. The WHO has claimed that one hot dog's worth of processed meat a day increases the human's risk of colon cancer by 18%. And the occasional hot dog or salami is not going to make a big impact, but we're talking about daily use of processed meats. It did find a significant increased risk of colorectal cancer, which is the third leading cause of cancer death in this country. The phosphates in hot dogs are equally dangerous. Studies have linked a phosphate-heavy diet to increased rates of both heart and kidney disease. Number 5. Coffee Creamer You may want to think about how you lighten your coffee in the future. Today, we're talking coffee creamers. I had no idea before researching this video just how big and honestly, how kind of scary this world is. While coffee may have various health benefits, what goes into coffee is likely bad for you. Coffee creamers in particular may not be worth the added flavor. Some creamers replace actual cream with synthetic replacements like monoglycerides and diglycerides. The aftertaste is a little white chocolatey, but I don't know, that's a, it's not working. Maybe it's after tasting the yellow ones. I, I haven't found anything yet that is gonna replace regular, just half and half for me. According to the FDA, these fatty glycerides are not harmful in tiny portions. However, in large amounts, a person will be consuming two large portions of trans fat. The next ingredient is hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's how they, number one, make it shelf stable, but number two, it makes it rich and creamy. Doctors have marked trans fat as responsible for risks in cholesterol and increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Number four, sugar cereals. The first breakfast cereal was invented in the United States during the Civil War. A century later, cold cereal became a staple of the American breakfast. You want to taste greatness? Oh, it's gonna be sweet. So when crunch time comes, dig in. No, seriously, dig in. They're sweet, they're crunchy, they're great. Companies spent the 20th century developing popular cereal brands, most often targeting children. To make their cereals more appealing, they were made sweeter and packed with added sugar. They also contain preservatives to extend shelf life, as well as food coloring and artificial flavors. According to one study published in the Journal of American Dietetic Association, children's cereals contained more carbs, sugar, and salt than adult cereals. Yikes! He's as big as the taste of my host fruity pebble cereal, part of a good breakfast. <laughs> Number 3. Frozen Meals Slash TV Dinners Frozen TV dinners are one of the early artifacts of American grind culture. The TV dinner of the 1950s and 60s has changed a lot in the decades since. Today, frozen foods are a booming category in supermarkets. Are you too tired to cook after a long day at work? Have no fear! Frozen meals allow a tired but hungry worker to pop a tray in the oven or microwave. In just a few minutes, you have a full meal, hot and ready to eat. Be able to not only feed yourself, but feed your family something that it doesn't take two hours to cook, to cook. That is a huge factor as well that's driving frozen, frozen food sales. Unfortunately, liquid nitrogen is not the only way frozen food manufacturers extend their product's shelf life. TV dinners are packed with preservatives and usually contain excess sodium and partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's a double whammy for heart disease. Unfortunately, all those additives tend to leach nutrients out of food, making frozen foods less nutritious than their fresh counterparts. That's, that's, a, that's a big deal. That's a fiasco. <laughs> that's a big, big deal. Number two, fried foods. It's something of a truism for some Americans that you can fry just about anything. Dessert foods like Oreos are fried in county fairs across America. There's an Oreo in there? Let's do this. Vegetables like onions are turned into deep fried onion rings in virtually every American style restaurant. So oh, those look fantastic. We'll serve some of that up. A couple rings. Let me dip one of these. Mmm. Beer battered onion rings with this dip, out of bounds. It's no surprise, however, that these deep fried foods land at number two in our list. Fried foods inject huge quantities of trans fat into the body, clogging arteries with plaque and leading to a plethora of health problems. A diet heavy in fried food can lead to obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and strokes later in life. Seasoning fried foods with extra salt or powdered sugar just adds to the risk. Oh man, you start to get the deep fried sweats. Oh yeah. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sugar Sweetened Soda Sugar soda has virtually no nutritional value whatsoever, and yet it is a staple of the American diet, especially in children. It contains vast quantities of high fructose corn syrup. A single 16 ounce bottle of soda may have 200 calories and 52 grams of sugar. Half of that sugar comes from fructose. Soda has played a significant role in the rise of obesity in the United States. One study of overweight and obese American adults saw many consuming a quarter of their daily calories as sugar soda. Critics argue they're not just ordinary calories either. They're empty of nutrition and don't tell the body it's full. With beverages, we'll drink the calories and then consume more foods on top of those calories. In such quantities, the sugar significantly reduced their sensitivity to natural insulin. Don't think that diet sodas with artificial sweeteners are any better. Sweetening chemicals like aspartame have been linked to increased risk of cancer. But researchers from Tufts University looked at the conditions soda can cause, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, and then used a statistical model to estimate how many deaths each year are linked to sugary drinks. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.